I said, nasal obstruction itself, frequent blocked nose, you need to get it accessed, okay? Because um, it can cause a lot of problems. You get frequent blocked nose, there's a smell problem. Your nose is related to the ear. You may not be hearing mm. well as well. If your nose is blocked, it's very natural for us to breathe from your mouth. That's how mm. my snoring starts, okay? So it happens too often, again, in a child, it affects jaw development. It can lead to OSA. Okay, so you need to treat the nose. A lot of the problems in ENT actually starts with the nose. Okay, so you need to treat the nose properly because if the nose, the ventilation is not good, you can get sinus problems, you can get ear problems. If you don't treat allergic rhinitis well, it can back drip, it can influence the throat, it can give you throat problems, persistent coughing, voice problems. You can get snoring problems because you keep breathing through your mouth. You can get halitosis, bad breath. So it can cause a lot of problems if it's not treated well. Oke, jadi ada pertanyaan apakah hidung tersumbat akan membuat penyakit yang lebih serius di kemudian hari dan Dr. Sun menjelaskan bahwa ya betul sekali kalau apa se sebenarnya permasalahan THP itu kebanyakan dimulai dari uh, pernapasan kita yang terganggu ya. Jadi kita ada blok, ada blok di saluran pernapasan kita dan termasuk juga di hidung kita. Jadi kalau tidak diobati dengan baik Kemudian harinya akan menyebabkan mungkin kita akan kehilangan kemampuan untuk mendengar. Mungkin juga uh, tenggorokan kita akan kering dan mudah untuk bapu. Jadi penting sekali untuk perhatikan sebabnya itu apa kita tersumbat dari saluran pernapasan kita ini. Apa hidung kita ini tersumbat kenapa? Kalau memang nggak apa-apa ya nggak apa-apa. Tapi kalau ada masalah serius kita harus diobati karena di kemudian hari akan membuat mungkin penyakit yang seperti sinus dan lain-lain dan sebagainya. Ini penting untuk kita. Um, sinusitis is an infection. It's not past. Allergic rhinitis is a. It can be past, and allergic oh. rhinitis predisposes one to getting sinusitis. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Jadi ini ada pertanyaan, apakah sinusitis itu penyakit turunan? Dokter Sun menjelaskan bahwa sinusitis itu bukan penyakit turunan, tetapi yang menurun itu adalah penyakit alerginya. Alergi rinitis itu menurun dari bapak ke anak-anak selanjutnya. Nah, Alergi rinitis ini membuat hidung kita itu menderita sinus. Jadi yang menurut itu alerginya, bukan sinusnya. Something that I was trying to show in my slide presentation. So just imagine that your nose is blocked and you keep breathing like this. Okay, so in a growing child, what is going to happen is that your growth plates are not fused, it's still growing, okay? But it is not growing this way because you keep breathing with your mouth doing this. So you will get this facial shape of a very, very elongated nose, uh, elongated face, which is going like, it's what we call adenoid face, which is actually a very narrowed kind of a lower third of the face, a very high arch palate and a very narrow jaw, okay? So this is a very common actually finding in a patient with persistent nasal obstruction since young, breathing through the mouth and not really breathing through the nose. Okay, so this patient actually snores and can have sleep apnea. This is very, very hard to treat. Okay, so if I have a patient, you can see if they if they are actually their nose is blocked, you can see the teeth is actually bad when they do this because the jaw is actually tented up and the, lead, the teeth is actually overlapping each other. It causes mild occlusion and poor dentition uh, development. Okay, so this is actually a very big first sign, okay, and you should treat the nose aggressively. You should try to teach the patient not to breathe through their mouth. They can use a chin strap, bring this, 
okay, to breathe through the nose, okay? Because even sometimes when you, when you treat and improve the nasal obstruction, the patient still breathes through their mouth, okay? Then it becomes very hard to treat after that. And when the, nas when the, when the bone of the face goes very long and narrow, it, it is also very hard to treat. We have done surgeries in an older patient to expand it laterally. It's called MMA, maxillomandibular advancement uh, for sleep apnea, but it's actually a very aggressive kind of a surgery with um, osteotomies, plate and screws to open actually the facial framework so that the airway is actually not so obstructed. Okay, so there's a question, yeah. anak-anak uh, sering tersumbat penapasannya dan apa sedikit mendengkur ketika tidur, akan merusak profil mukanya. Ya, Jawab dokter Sun tadi benar ya. Memang ini yang dari presentasinya tadi itu yang jelaskan ini bahayanya. Karena kita mempunyai anak-anak dan sering tersumbat uh, saluran pernapasannya ketika tidur, itu akan membuat uh, formasi muka kita tuh agak ke bawah ya. Jadi rahangnya turun dan sininya agak mengecil. Jadi apa yang disebut dengan adenoid face ya. Jadi ini memang satu permasalahan yang sangat pelik. Kalau udah didiemin jangan jangan panjang dan ini dah terbentuk mukanya seperti itu. Jangan lupa like dan subscribe.